Hydra is one of the easiest attack strategies at Town Hall 14, but of course there are multiple different variations, so let's go through three of the best ways to use Hydra for three stars. So let's start with the Super Archer Blimp Hydra. This works well on a plethora of specifically ring style bases. It can work well on other types of bases, but ring bases are its best base. You're basically using the Super Archer Blimp to get rid of a decent chunk of the core of the base out. You'll then use the Hero Dive to go in for a particular area, usually on either the corner, and that should allow you to clear one part of the base and get some nice value, while on the other side, you've got the Hydra that works its way all the way down in an L shape since the core will be gone. So for starters, you'll want to start with Balloons and the Battle Blimp. You can also use the Grand Warden if you would like to sacrifice him, but I wouldn't recommend it. Once the blimp gets into position, pop it, use the invisibility spell, then use another one once the super archers start firing, then drop your rage, your two clones, and drop another invisibility. Time these every four seconds. This will allow you to more than easily get through the rest of it. Two clone spells are pretty nice, but remember it doesn't really allow you to get nearly as much value with less clone or with less invisibility. Now next is your hero dive. You're basically using your Barbarian King and Archer Queen just to create a little bit of a funnel after your Super Archer Blimp has kind of gone through. If you were able to get rid of the middle section of the core, then you can basically use it on either the left or the right to not only establish the funnel, but go for values such as air defenses, the infernos, really anything that hits air and ground is really nice. And that's all you really want to do with this is just trying to get as much value as possible before you send the Hydra or while the Hydra is moving in. Last but not least is the Hydra. This is pretty much the bread and butter of the strategy and should be able to get through the rest of the base. You've got dragons and dragon riders with the Grand Warden moving through. Basically, as long as the middle part of the base is gone, you can either use this on the left or right or the final remaining side that you didn't use your hero dive. Otherwise, they're just gonna be able to more than easily move through. You don't have spells in this case, but Dragon Riders don't really need spells to get the job done. They're really tanky and they do a lot of damage. Despite being right behind the dragons, you'll still want to use a Grand Warren ability a bit early in order to provide a lot of support. You can use the Royal Champion as well. Her goal is just to try and get some decent value before, you know, unfortunately, ending or getting her demise. But it is really a good way to use her on the back end get some nice value to clear some other more clear more buildings but more often than not the dragon riders will have enough hp and you'll have a, a lot of them in numbers to more than easily get through with the super archer blimp hydra now, another really nice one is the regular hydra this typically uses two to three clone spells this is a really simple strategy. All you want to do is funnel with your heroes to go in for something like the Ego Artillery. And then on the other side, you've just got your Hydra working themselves into the base. This is really going to allow you to also have the triple clone or double clone to remove the town hall and a lot of other structures, making it really easy for you. And then you have the back end Royal Champion that can more than easily move through the rest of the base. So in order to really start things off, you'll want to make sure that you're creating the funnel for your heroes to drive into the base. You might sometimes want to go in for something such as like the Eagle Artillery. So these are things that you will want to at least pay attention to. If you're going into a single target Inferno with your heroes, you always want to use that free spell. And it's going to provide you with a lot of value and support as you work in. But once you've created a really solid funnel with this, you can then move on into the spam phase. And that spam phase is clearly the Hydra. You really don't need to necessarily funnel the Hydra. The Hydra will basically funnel itself. But as you work in, you need to use an early Grand Warren ability because you're using the Battle Blimp. You also want to activate the Town Hall and use the Triple Clone. Try to get as much value as possible as you can and try not to have any other flying units go into that clone or else they're going to clone dragon riders and dragons and you don't want that. You basically will have a lot of dragons, whether they thin out or not is really what's going to happen with the strategy, but you'll still have dragon riders up as they provide a lot of value. The 
it deals so much damage, and despite not going for any enemy heroes, they can really help your dragons just clear through the rest of it. You even have the Royal Champion, which can get a lot of really nice value. Otherwise, this is pretty much the better version if you still want to use dragons and dragon riders, pretty much one of the easier attack strategies here at Town Hall 14, and this is pretty much one of the better options that you have for this strategy. It works well on more bases than the Super Archer Blimp. Now for the final one, pretty much in my opinion, the best Hydra attack is the Queen Charge Hydra. The best opener in the game, the Queen Charge, is really good. You'll mainly want to use this going into the Eagle Artillery, so your Hydra basically is going into the Town Hall, but you're using the Queen Charge for funnel, so you don't have to have the CC lure out at all. You can basically just let the hero, the Archer Queen, charge her way in, being healed up, and getting a large amount of value. This then gives you the added benefit of then using the Hydra from the other side that you basically didn't funnel and allow you to send it up towards something like the town hall which is really nice because you have the battle blimp with yetis involved you can more than easily remove that the royal champion on the back end to support either your archer queen or your hydra in order to help you get the three star so when you're actually starting with this strategy you'll want to make sure that you're funneling your queen so baby dragons and sneaky goblins are fantastic for you for doing this Otherwise, you want to start getting your queen to go into something such as the Eagle Artillery. The Clan Castle does not need to be removed by the Archer Queen, unlike something like the, like the Minor Hawk Hybrid, where you don't really have a lot to deal with air type of CCs. You don't really need to worry about that because dragons can easily get through the enemy Clan Castle. So all you want to do is Queen Charge for funneling, not for value, even though value is also kind of nice too, you want to mainly queen charge for funneling. Funneling and value are really just going to be the name of the game. You want to pretty much also try to sneak in some balloons to look for any seeking air mines. I tend to recommend that if possible, but if one, if one healer dies, then it's completely fine. All you really want to do is just focus on getting as much value from the queen as possible. Try to hold off on using her ability. So use things such as the freeze and the invisibility spell that you have to your disposal. It's going to help you a lot, especially if you are running low. And you want to make sure that using that invisibility spell, you take good advantage of it. Clearing out some buildings and making sure that something like a scattershot isn't locking onto you. So you should also create the other side of the funnel with the Barbarian King. It can be relatively short as well, but as long as you're doing that, you're perfectly fine because now you can send the Hydra in. This is pretty much using a bit more balloons, some Dragon Riders, and some Dragons to move in. Your entire goal is just to easily and comfortably move in with the Hydra and allowing yourself to deal with the enemy Clan Castle troops with the Poison and the Dragons should be more than enough to easily get through. Using the using the Grand Warren ability will pretty much provide that support and help for your dragons to get through and for the Battle Blimp to get to the Town Hall. Outside of that, you should also have the Royal Champion. You're basically using her in order to use to support the back end. This can be something such as the Archer Queen preventing her from dying and helping you get a three star. But otherwise, you're just using that back-end Royal Champion to get something of value, especially if there are very minimal defenses remaining. So try to hold on to that Royal Champion for as much as possible, and I'll help you get the three-star with this strategy. So what did you think about these three attacks? Which of these is your favorite? Which of these do you think is the most consistent? Let me know down in the comments below, but let me know what else you would like to see with a particular strategy with three or more different versions of it.